I mean, when we look at even just like the beginning of the education of physicians, we don't see any specific training on uh, LGBT identified people, trans people in particular, but also LGBT uh, folks as a like general umbrella. So it's really the physician's job when they aren't getting that training to train themselves. It shouldn't be up to your patients to come in and answer those questions for you. I think that's really common with a lot of medical providers is that they're not given cultural competency training or training to deal with people that are not heterosexual cisgender. Sometimes there is also angst within members of the LGBTQ community of their orientation around like going to doctors in general. Sometimes it's not even about oh I want this procedure and insurance won't do it. Sometimes it's like I'm going to the doctor for it could be any number of things and I don't know how that experience is going to be because I've had this negative experience in the past. I mean where to begin I think like there's less of an understanding of the way their bodies work I think a lot of times because of the violence and discrimination they face they're afraid to tell their doctors about what's going on when in fact the doctor should be there as an advocate who listens and understands everything. I'm from the Milwaukee area and Milwaukee as most people know is a highly highly segregated area it's really uh, challenging for a lot of communities in Milwaukee particularly like low-income communities, communities of color, queer and trans people that live in these areas to get like high-quality, inclusive health care. State health excludes trans care, right? So even for um, identical drugs, hormones, or procedures, it's not covered if it's related to a gender transition. It is covered um, for other things like hormonal birth control. So there's a, an explicit exclusion on trans care. The challenges that people face definitely depend on their identity, right? So I think in particular intersecting identities. So it's important to not just think about uh, like queer and trans identity when thinking about this issue, but to also consider uh, race and ethnicity, ability or um, what else, class. I think that then the push to get people to get tested for STIs, we have to make it as comfortable as an environment as possible. So part of that looks like really making sure that our providers <laughs> like have an understanding of queer identities, right? Queer and trans identities. Making sure that we have protections in place for all people and also making sure that every medical professional has comprehensive, inclusive training. I think that's really, really important and I think it's underrated. I don't think there's one way that this is gonna get solved. <laughs> um, I honestly think it's like, see where you're at see what resources you have, and then, and, and then move from there.